Uh, we get into the, oh my gosh, we get into uh, Goldberg coming into the ring. And, dear Lord, just a spear to Brock Lesnar and then throws him out. Brock Lesnar continues to be humiliated by Goldberg. And that just tells you that they are definitely building up something big between Goldberg and Lesnar. Because since this has happened twice, they really are going to need to capitalize this in a big way. And I think it's going to be some kind of no-holds-barred, just falls kind of anywhere match, something with a major stipulation. you got to believe at this point it's going to be that. So looking forward to seeing that. And we finally got the confrontation that everybody wanted to see. Goldberg and The Undertaker in the ring at the same time. And wrestling each other. Good lord. That was just amazing. A feel good moment. Guys brawled for a little bit. And then Undertaker eliminated Goldberg to a lot of people's surprise. They were like oh wow. I was honestly thinking that Goldberg was going to at least stick around for a little bit longer. But I think the only person who would be legitimized as. uh, Well I guess the only person you could see. Eliminating. Uh. Uh, who, who was uh, Goldberg would be the Undertaker. When we reached the number 30 entrant, boy, were there names that were just flying through the air. People were saying, you know, Samoa Joe. People were thinking Finn Balor. Uh, somebody else big. Who would be the number 30 entrant? Roman Reigns. Wow. I definitely applaud WWE for that major troll. That was good. That was good. Roman Reigns coming out at number 30. And he eliminates The Undertaker. Holy cow. I mean, some people were already speculating that, oh, it's going to be Roman Reigns against Taker at WrestleMania. I disagree because I think that they might be going in the direction of having uh, Undertaker take on John Cena. If not, probably Braun Strowman. I think that's probably where they're going to go. But it does kind of linger in the back of my mind that this could possibly happen. And I would honestly be okay with that. A lot of people are not cool with the idea of Roman Reigns versus Undertaker at WrestleMania. As long as Roman Reigns is a heel and he beats him, you know, not exactly decisively, but more via shenanigans, as you might say, then I think a lot of people would really get behind Roman Reigns defeating The Undertaker. Uh, It went down to Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton. And, oh, i got to mention this moment here. Uh, Earlier on, Luke Harper, discus clotheslines Bray Wyatt, takes Randy Orton down. And then it looked like we were actually going to get a sister Abigail to Bray Wyatt from Luke Harper. But but Luke Harper got RKO'd by Randy Orton. It was still a really cool moment. I am very impressed, and I'm very looking forward to seeing where they continue this whole deal. Because it looks like Luke Harper is going to be branching out on his own. This might actually happen. We'll have to kind of wait and see what happens. But the ending of the Royal Rumble was very much unexpected. Because you had Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns. Three people you did not think were even going to be in that spot. Uh, Roman Reigns came back with a couple of Superman punches to, to Bray Wyatt, to Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt gets thrown over the top rope by... Uh, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns goes for the spear, Randy Orton hits the RKO, and then throws out Roman Reigns, becoming a two-time Royal Rumble winner. Randy Orton is going to WrestleMania to more than likely face the WWE Champion. Who is going to be the champion? We're going to find out in two weeks, you guys. We don't know if it's going to be Bray Wyatt, we don't know if it's going to be John Cena, God, I hope not. And we don't know if it's going to be even be AJ Styles because he's. I, you already can guarantee that John Cena and AJ Styles are guaranteed to be in the Elimination Chamber. There is no way that they are going to pass up on that. And there's a possibility that they may go back to the older rendition of the Royal Rumble where they decide, hey, we're going to have the winner choose which title he wants to face off. So we could... Get, you know, Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens, depending on if he's, you know, still a champion by then. But it does seem like Randy Orton is going to stay on SmackDown Challenge for the WWE title, which does make that title a little more uh, prestigious. So the Royal Rumble as a whole 
was honestly not one of the best Royal Rumbles that I've seen, but it honestly was one of the more unexpected Royal Rumbles. Like I said, this is one of those Rumbles that I didn't know who was going to win. It was one of those things where you look at it and think, huh, it really is a who's who's of, you know, who's going to win, who's going to win, who's going to win. And that probably has not happened since, I want to say, Royal Rumble 2012 when Sheamus won it. Because I did not see him winning that at all. Anytime from like 2012, probably in years past, a lot of people did not really know who was going to win. I would even say that back in 2006, with the one where Rey Mysterio won, people probably were not even expecting that. They were not expecting him to go all the way as the number two entrant and go all the way to the end and win it. So a lot can happen in the Royal Rumble and a lot of things definitely changed during the Royal Rumble. This was, holy cow, this was just an amazing, this was just an ama- amazing night. Uh, was it the best? Like I said, no, but I think that Royal Rumble match itself definitely saved the event, if anything, because like I said, the six Divas match, six women's Tag match, not so good. The tag team title match was awesome. Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks, eh. The women's championship matchup was probably okay. Uh, the matchup between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, awesome. Neville and Rich Swan, probably the best that they've done. So, there's that. Uh, Cena versus Styles was a great matchup. The ending I did not like. Uh... It was kind of one of those things where I felt like after the tag team title match and the women's title match, where it was kind of like, uh huh, I, I don't understand. But in this one, I did kind of understand why they did that because they wanted to keep Cena as the 16 win. And then Roman, uh, Randy Orton winning the Royal Rumble match, honestly, well deserved. So definitely looking forward to seeing how that goes. Uh, that is going to wrap it up for this edition of the. It's a Roy- the Royal Rumble reaction video. Uh, usually we would do the SCP Live after Monday Night Raw tonight. However, I will be doing a lot of watching of Oscar-related movies. So I will not be able to do that tonight, right away after Raw. I will do it, hopefully, after... I'm hoping I could say either late tonight, if not tomorrow. I will get my Raw reaction video there. Uh, Raw podcast, whatever. Um, I will be joining Max and Spencer tomorrow night for SmackDown Live review, I guess you could say, uh, as well as on Wednesday, I will be joined by Victory Bell, and we will be doing, again, the shoulda, woulda, couldas of the Oscars. Thursday, it will, of course, be the Smart Money podcast, where they will talk about a lot of uh, WWE unrelated stuff, and on Friday... Right now, we're still kind of deciding what we are going to do with that. We will have something big. We will we will have something big planned for you guys. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that. So thank you again so much for joining us here. Of course, you can always check out where to find us in the description below, especially if you're listening on Spreaker.com as well as iTunes. Uh, Be sure to follow us up on Twitter. You can always follow me on Twitter at Nate Great where I will give you guys the best news that you can and definitely the best entertainment that you guys deserve. So, of course, if you're looking for something new, then definitely be a part of Ring of Elite Ringside uh, Network. Be a part of something new. Be a part of history. Be a part of the revolution. For Elite Re- Ringside Revol- Network, guys, I am Nate the Effing Great, signing off. I need to take care of my voice. Oh, gosh. <laughs>